Hello Sim fans. so in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own panel for your flight simulator home cockpit. Um, this panel, it came out pretty nicely, the only thing I'm not happy with is the lettering, but I'm pretty sure that you, you might have a better way of making your own letters, but as a panel it came out, in my opinion, it came out pretty good. This is not an exact replica of what's in the Boeing aircrafts, but um, I'm building my own simulator so I can make it any way I want to make it but you could go ahead and make it uh, make an exact replica if you want to but this is just my design so let's get started on the build so I got here a piece of plexiglass so this is I guess um, 8 8 inches by 10 inches by, by 0.93 inches thick this is clear you can use the, the white one or the clear one or, or you can use a piece of wood, you can use whatever you like. Okay, so now I'm going to measure out the dimensions. I decided to make it 16 centimeters long. So it's 16 centimeters by 6 centimeters high. So it's 6 centimeters. I'm going to use my T-square here to get some nice straight lines. Trusty T-square. Okay, now let's start cutting. So I'm going to have a straight edge over here. I think I'll use my right hand to use the knife. And you want to make sure you have a nice sharp knife, but just be careful not to cut yourself. Slide everything up. Okay, now let's see if we could break this. Hopefully this works on the first try. Guess not. Alright, so let's keep going. Okay, so I got it cut. Um, I didn't, I don't have it on camera, but um, Basically what I did, I, um, I also scored the back of it, the front and back, and then I broke it right off. So I did it to the other section, I scored the front, and I scored the back, so now I'm going to break it off. There we go. So this section here is going to be for the star panel. So next what we're going to do is we're going to paint it. Okay, now we're going to paint the piece of plexi. So I'm using Rust-Oleum's Painter's Touch, the color is satin granite, and look, it also bonds to plastic, which is great. So now, let me make sure it's nicely mixed. Let's peel the plastic coating off the plexiglass. So now we have a nice clean surface to work with. So let's start painting. When you're painting, you want to do um, quick, um, small coats and come back and do a second coat and a third coat. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and come back and do another coat. Okay, now, so here's the panel all painted. Um, 
these are the, the switches that I'm going to be using on the panel. And um, these are the, the knobs that I'm going to be using. These knobs are made by Simulations Developments. Um, if you're interested in these knobs, you can buy them at uh, lifelights.net. I'll leave a link in, in the description below. But these knobs are really nice. They're almost identical to the, the ones in the Boeing. Um, you can see the nice detail it has here. All they need to do is just be painted. Okay, so now um, let's get start building the panel. Um, this is the rotary switches that the, that the knobs are going to go on. This is going to be the engine selector switch. So, so now we just want to mark where, where we want to drill the holes for the switches. Okay, so I'm going to start measuring. So this is going to go halfway in this section. It's going to mark it with this dry erase marker. Hopefully it doesn't make a permanent mark on there. Mark this side. Now let's mark the center. Okay, so now I'm going to start drilling. Okay, so when you're drilling, you want to start small and work your way up to bigger and bigger drill bits. So I'm going to drill the first piece right here. Okay, now here's a panel with all the holes drilled into it. I scratched it up a little bit when I was drilling the holes, but um, I'm going to repaint the panel anyway. So here are the switches, and this is how the switches are going to go into the panel. Now these rotary switches, there's a little tab that's on here. Um, that tab is there, so on the back of the panel, I'm going to drill a little hole over here, which this little tab or this little notch, I'm sorry, this little piece goes into, and it prevents the the switch from rotating like this way when you turn it. So I'll do that later, but just for the demonstration purposes, it's going to show you what it's going to look like. Okay, so this is what the panel looks like. This is the back of the panel. And these um, knobs is going to go right over these switches. It, it, it already looks pretty nice. Just have to paint the, switch, the knobs. And drill some holes in the back of the knobs to fit over the switches. So after looking at the panel, I noticed that the back of the panel is all smooth and nice and clean. Um, I, if you want, you can use this as a um, finish side for your panel, but I really want to get the, the feel of the color being on the same side, not this shiny and everything. So, so let's go ahead and um, mark the little notch for the rotary switch. So I'm going to take some white paint. Put it on the little prong over there, and just it's irrelevant where we put the the notch, so just gonna put it in and mark it there. So that's where we're gonna drill the hole for that one. Oops, more paint on there. And that's where we're going to drill the hole for the second one.
Okay, now we're gonna drill the notch. We don't wanna go too deep because I don't really wanna go through to the other end. So, let's carefully do this. So, I went through to the other end, which I didn't wanna do. But hopefully, when we put the knob over it, it covers that hole. Actually, let's just test it out and see. Should be fine. There you go, should be fine. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. So that worked pretty perfectly. So here's the panel. Here's a knob that I just finished painting. You can see how I painted the knob in another video. Um, so I'm just going to place the knob over the switch just to get an idea where everything's going to go. So I know that I have the switch right now in the off position. So in the off position, I know that it's just one click to the right. So off position is up. So I put the switch, the knob here, so no, that's the up position. So now I don't have a CNC machine that I can use to make letters and everything on here. I'm just going to have to paint it myself. It's not going to be perfect, but you know, it gets the job done. So let me mark this up position. So I'm going to mark it with my Sharpie. So that's the off. So hopefully they all line up. Okay, so on the um, start panel of the, for the engine, there's these lines that lead off to the lettering. So uh, I already outlined one of the lines with some tape. I'm going to paint it right now, and I'm going to do the rest, and then I'll show you how I do the lettering later when I'm done with the lines. Now the lines are done. Now it's time for the lettering. Now for the lettering, I have these letter stamps. Which I'm gonna use. I have my little template here. You can, I'm also looking at pictures I'm getting off of Google. So I want to make sure that I'm getting all my letters on level. So what I'm gonna do is take a piece of masking tape and just mark a straight line of where I'm gonna stamp my letters. Looks pretty straight. And I have some paint over here. Okay, so let's start stamping. So stamp on the F's here. Uh, don't like the way that came out. Stamp the F here and C again. Okay, that sucks. Okay, let's try this again. Close enough. So that's the off. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest. Look okay, here. The letters are done. They didn't come up perfect. Uh, I don't care for the way they came up, but that's the best I can do right now. So let's put the uh, knob on. So this is very tight fit. Once I put it on, I won't be able to take it off. So you want to make sure that everything is correct. So put that to the off position. Take the knob. Try it, push it in in the off position. There you go. There's your, I guess, ground off and the other two positions. 
So this is pretty much how you build a panel. So I'm going to get the other knob on. Oh! I got to put the lettering over here too. Forgot about that. Okay, so now I added the... Uh, um, Okay, now, so now I added the lettering here, but I spelled ignition wrong. I spelled I-N-G instead of I-G-N, but that's mine. I'm not going to worry about that. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, just please leave it in the comment section below. Also, visit my website, lifelights.net, if you're interested in purchasing these knobs. Also, if you want to sell your own items that you have, it's almost going to be like an Amazon-type website where um, people could go, could go and sell their own simulator products. Um, Thanks again for watching.